Hi, my name is Jesse Adams. I'm the Rigging Projects Manager here at Rosebrand, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about chain hoists. So the quarter ton motor is actually available in several different sizes. We have size availability from 300 pounds up to 1,000 pounds. The 300 and 500 pound models look pretty much just like this one here. The 600 pound and the 1,000 pound models are double purchased, so you would have a block with a pulley at the top and the chain is double purchased back to the motor body. Here we have the half ton motor size, which is available in the 1,000 pound capacity. Moving on, we have the one ton motor, which is also available in a two ton capacity using the same type of double purchase reeved hook system. All of these motors are available in single phase or three phase options. Now as far as power connections, we have several different options available. First we have the dual twist lock, one of the most common types of power connectors out there. This separates the power and signal into two separate cable runs. Next we have the Socapex 7 pin connector which combines power and signal all into one connection. And similar to the Socapex 7 pin, we also have the P14 combining power and signal all into one quick lock device. When it comes to controlling your motors, there are a few different options. First, we do have local control available at every single motor with an optional pickle. The pickle connects via twist lock to the motor itself. Now, if you need to control multiple hoists, you would use a multi-channel motor controller. This particular model is a four-channel motor controller with P14 power connections. All four hoists are controlled from one handheld pendant and give you an up and down option available for each individual hoist. And once you've selected your combination, simply press the go button. Now we've re-rigged this to demonstrate the use of a multi-channel chain motor controller. In a real world situation, typically you would not mix a one ton chain motor with a quarter ton chain motor, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're gonna run the two together on a four foot piece of truss. Now we've had to weight this down a little bit to uh, kind of balance out the rig, but let me show you what you can do. I'm gonna run the truss up with both motors running together. So I've selected chain motors one and two up on my control panel and I simply hit go. Now, if I want to run both of them in different directions, I could select motor one running up and motor two running down, press go, and we can start to cant the truss a bit. So this is a brief demonstration of what you can do with a multi-channel chain motor controller.